girls run the world. We raise children, manage households, and manage careers, and we can do it all in hills if we wanted to. 60% of college degrees are earned by women. This year has been epic for women in politics. We witnessed a record-breaking number of women being sworn into, into Congress. While we have made many strides, let's be honest, we still have a ways to go. The teen suicide rate for girls is at an all-time high. Girls report losing confidence significantly once entering into high school. But as a community, what can we do to help these girls regain that confidence to show up later in life as strong women? I have an idea. Raise a girl to travel. On July 29, 2016, I boarded a plane with 10 teenage girls. I went through a myriad of emotions that day, from excitement to worry. But most of all, I felt gratitude. I was thankful to my partner because we did it. I was thankful to all the supporters who donated. But I was thankful to those 10 girls for letting go of their fears and being adventurous. Three years earlier, my friend and I, both avid lovers of travel, decided we wanted to help the girls in Philadelphia. We wanted to share our love of travel and let them know that they can step out of their comfort zones, step out of their neighborhoods, and safely see what the world has to offer. So we started our nonprofit organization. Education-based travel not only enriches their lives, but makes a major impact on their personal, academic, and career development. It is with that in mind that B Girl World was created. B Girl World is a nonprofit organization that challenges girls to think beyond their neighborhoods, dream bigger than their city limits, and create endless possibilities beyond their country's borders. We meet monthly, where the girls work on activities that range anywhere from career introductions, foreign language. We learn about study broad programs and also foreign, foreign currency, just to name a few. All activities then lead up to our cultural immersion tour, where the girls get to practice everything they've learned the 23 months prior internationally. I've been asked, why did you even want to start a program like this? I have to say, because of my father. While growing up, my dad always encouraged my brothers and I to travel the world before we started careers and families, basically before we got buried by life. He made it his duty to make sure we traveled outside of North Philly so that we could see that there was more in the world. He knew of so many of our friends and family who would never leave the area. I remember my dad piling us up in the car, and we would just go for long drives sometimes. He began taking us to state parks where we would go hiking and swimming. My mom would make these amazing lunches for us. He made it his goal to take us to every state park in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, and New York. <laughs> we didn't meet that goal. But I appreciate that he wanted to share that with us. Without my parents' determination to show us that there was more in the world than what was in our neighborhood, I don't think that I would be the world traveler that I am today. While growing up, I thought that no one in my neighborhood liked to travel. I was once ridiculed that my family was the knockoff version of the Huxtables because nobody in North Philly went to Disney World. <laughs> I think that guy was a hater. <laughs> but as I think of it now, 26% of people in Philadelphia are, are impoverished. Girls that are born under that circumstance shouldn't be sidelined for all that travel can offer. Cultural immersion 
is important for academics. The Wagner Group, a market, a market research firm, conducted a study of 400 American adults who reported going on educational trips between the ages of 12 and 18. The study concluded that 80% of those people felt that that travel made them want to learn more in school. More than half achieved better grades, and 57% went on to college. Travel is fundamental for personal development. Travel not only immerses you in different cultures, but it allows you to become culturally aware. Travel serves as a catalyst for self-confidence and independence. The authors of The Confidence Code and a polling firm, y Pulse, concluded a study of 1,300 girls ages 8 to 18 and their parents. The study concluded that under the age of 12, girls describe themselves as brave. They are unapologetic for what they want and what they need. But over the age of 12, those girls lose their confidence by 30%. Studies show that puberty is the culprit. But research also shows that when girls participate in sports or activities that allow them to take risks, they are more likely to have higher self-confidence. Travel not only lets them see the world, but it lets them learn about themselves. In 2012, when we had our first kickoff meeting for B-Girl World, we had an original goal of making sure every girl got their first passport. As support poured in for the organization, we not only reached that goal, but we exceeded that goal. We then came up with the goal to make sure every girl got their first passport stamp. So in 2016, while I sat on that plane, I was proud. I was proud of what those girls were about to experience. One of the first thing they experienced is, you should only pack what you can carry. <laughs> <laughs> we all learned that as we had to walk up five flights of steps to our flat. <laughs> After we rested, we went on to visit Big Ben in the London Eye. We went to Kensington Palace and Buckingham Palace. In Paris, we visited the Louvre, we went to Notre Dame, and of course, we met, visited the Eiffel Tower. Well, one of the highlights was the girls were able to meet with diplomats in the U.S. embassies in both London and Paris and learn about careers for the State Department. But three years later, those girls still feel the impact of that trip. Let me introduce you to a couple of the girls. Davina. Davina entered the program when she was in 10th grade and is now a sophomore in college. When we were watching the changing of the guard, Davina looked considerably irritated. <laughs> I asked her what was wrong, and she said, the other visitors were invading her personal space. <laughs> okay. After we talked about how she felt, she realized that the personal space zone is different among cultures. That made Davina want to learn more about different cultures. It sparked her interest in the concepts of globalization and cultural sociology. She is now a double major in Spanish and sociology. Next up, <laughs> we have Taja. She's actually in the room. <laughs> Taja also entered the program when she was in 10th grade and is a sophomore in college. She reported to us that the trip made her want to work harder on getting her teaching degree so she can travel the world to help children in areas where there's a shortage of teachers. She also let us know that recently she went on her semester abroad in Belize. There, she basically reignited her passion to start a housing development program for homeless in Philadelphia.
Malaysia. Malaysia was in 11th grade when she started in our program and is now a junior in college. Malaysia attributes our travel to the reason why she now understands that the world is open for anything. Malaysia is known as one of our quiet and shy B girls. But she believes that the program has helped her step out of her comfort zone and allowed her to start experiencing new things. She is now on campus, one of the main people teaching everyone about female empowerment. And she sheds light on issues that black students face while attending predominantly white institutions. We have a great group of girls. Girls will continue to lose self-confidence if we do not allow them to be themselves and learn who they truly are. Travel can open their eyes to new, to new opportunities and let them learn about themselves and go on an introspective journey. We invite all of you to support organizations like Be Girl World, organizations that allow girls to be confident and have courage. Create your own organizations that will give girls the skills that they need to become global leaders. Work with colleges and universities on outreach programs about study abroad and planning. When we create programs that move girls out of their comfort zone and allow them to participate in opportunities that will provide them with resilience, these girls will regain that lost confidence and they will open their eyes to new opportunities. On August 5th, 2016, my partner and I boarded a plane to Philadelphia with 10 teenage girls. Those girls' lives was impacted by the sights that made them culturally aware, by the conversations that made them want to learn more, and by experiences that changed their worldview. Let's prepare our girls to be global leaders. Work with us and raise a girl who travels. Thank you.